Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. Are your girl Debbie from Donga Yard? Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome to the Jamaican cooking journey. Hold them new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now today, I just want to do for you a short video. I don't know how many of you are familiar with it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do for you steam bam. I said it to you before, steamed bam. Okay? It goes with, this is one of the accessories, food accessories. I would want to call it our food condiments or something that goes with fish. This is a Jamaican thing, a Jamaica something. This, this is a Jamaican kitchen. And I'm bringing to you how we do it down here, honey child. Now, you first you're going to need some properly fried off bam. And that video is already on the channel. So we're going to link for you in the description that video now you're gonna need for this and let me tell you when you are frying the bammies and you want to remove them don't stick them with a fork use a spatula or something that's a salted spoon or something don't stick the bammies when they are fried and you're taking them from the oil it will absorb some extra oil when you remove them with a the spatula you have next to nothing in grease so right over here we have some coconut milk and it's almost to the boil eh? you don't need coconut cream you're gonna need milk so I'm gonna notch my flame up mm-hmm and you're gonna give this a little flavor you don't want to put a lot of things in there because coconut milk has its own natural flavor everybody who is familiar with coconut milk knows the flavor that it gives so you don't want to go about if you didn't want to put a twist and to twist to what i'm going to show you don't overdo it with a lot of seasoning and stuff you'll lose the flavor okay now it's coming to a boil so i'm going to put what i have in here I have one peg of grated garlic i'm going to put a little bit of a salt not a lot we'll taste for salt perfection as we go along you want to have the coconut milk looking like this and as i said to you it's not coconut cream it's coconut milk this is the type of coconut that we would use to make rundown if you notice it's been eaten and it starts boiling i have inside here a piece of green thyme which i should have told you that was flavoring while it was cooking look at it it looks like when you're making coconut rundown and it coming down to the the, 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 the meat or the matter eh? so you'd want the dry not coconut cream coconut milk look at it now it is there and it's doing that now what i should have said to you in the video for the fried bami we soaked the bami in milk coconut milk and we fried it because we weren't steaming it now when you're gonna steam your bami all you have to do is substitute that coconut milk for water because you're gonna steam it in the coconut milk again you will need to soak it in the coconut milk so you just use some water and i'm gonna leave that information also in the description now we got a piece of scallion here and we're going to just if you want to beat it you can beat it because we just want to get the flavor from it i'm gonna raise it it was already washed but i'm like that so we're putting that in there now we want to taste for some salt perfection because we don't want this thing here too salty you know okay all right flame up there mm -hmm. we have a little salting going on not a lot because we're gonna put a little butter to this thing not a lot eh? but look here if you feel like what i put is too little and you want to put some more butter put some more butter because i feel your kitchen i feel your steam bummy okay if you feel that what i put is too much and you want to go a little less go a little less do what pleases you i feel your kitchen okay and i've often said that okay y'all so i'm going 
gonna take about this is about less than a teaspoon of butter if you want to put a tablespoon feel free okay mm -hmm. and we are gonna let it dissolve in there we're gonna let it melt out in there as we go along do not put scotch bonnet pepper don't put a little black pepper or a little cayenne pepper to taste if you are somebody that likes a lot to eat you can put a lot i'm just putting it to give a little flavor hmm? yeah now you're gonna proceed use your hand put in your bami a few coconut milk a few bami a few kitchen gently put them in So we have two sticks and three quarters. At this point now, you need to lower the flame. Hmm? Coconut milk takes about seven to 10 minutes to cook. So you want to leave them in this nice little coconut gravy something. And you wanna spoon some over there for about 10 minutes. Because after five minutes, you're gonna wait five minutes, you're gonna come now and you're gonna use a spatula to gently flip them. So what you're gonna do now is not boil it, boil it in there, kind of, so you're gonna have to lower the flame at this point, almost to low. Because you want it to stay right there and I low it. Look at it, look at the color that it, look at the color. The, that is the cayenne pepper that you put in there. Look at the color of the milk. So you're going to let it stay down in there for another 10 minutes but you're gonna come at five minutes at a five minute interval to flip them huh okay yes family this is the five minutes interval and this is what it looks like okay the the coconut milk okay yes it's been you know being absorbed or it has been um reduced and this is what it looks like so you have got to be gentle real gentle now turning them over to the other side okay y'all you gotta be real gentle with your spatula turning them over or flipping them whatever to the other side you want them to go to the other side to get all infused in this this is more like a coconut rundown now you know eh this is more you could not even say a rundown bami not that thing is wrong wow this one is broken because it is so this one is gonna be broken but look here we still gotta flip it eh? so we want to get this one flip why are you giving me so much trouble okay i'll flip and that's it so you're gonna leave it now look at it y'all give them a shot camera girl shoot them up. shoot them up. look at it look at what you have okay so you're gonna leave it now for at least probably four minutes now because we're in here like almost a minute and then when we return now you'll see the finished product we'll take them out and we'll show you how they will look we'll break piece and show you we're gonna taste okay now family right here this is ready it's ready so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna turn our flame off the next thing is to get these coming out whole. They are very tender, very moist. So you got to approach them with some gentleness. So we don't want the scallion because it has, it has already done its work. So you're going to use your spatula to lift. They are really, 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 really delicate at this point and as delicate as they look that is how delicate they taste so you have to move this piece of time because you ain't gonna serve with this time hmm? you wanna set them in a uniformed you know yes remember delicately you're gonna remove them hmm? this one got broken because more than likely it was in the stick form but we're still going to work around it huh Put it right there. Say a prayer that this one don't break. And yes, the prayer was said and it was answered. It didn't break. 
So, you want to clean around. Your plate as usual. You know, you have to do a little presentation in a real matter. Whether you serve people, yes or no. Practice to present your dishes, you know, in a sort of way where it look appealing. Mm, doesn't matter. Even if it's for your kids, let it look appealing. Can't you let them want to eat more? So all you need to do now, okay, we have this nice juice and stuff leave inside here. So you're going to ask how this nice enough. So you don't have to move it again. So you just going, you know, sprinkle a little over this nice little coconut juice here. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. I, I, I can't eat it now, you know. And you just want to, you know, just top it off with a little green skeleton for garnishing. You know, to give it a little... Pep up the look of it. You don't have to eat the skeletons. They can be eaten, but you don't have to. You're just pepping up the look of the dish. And this is what it is. It is the, the Macon steamed bami. Put the camera on. Now, I've given you the steamed fish. This is served with fish. Steam, brown stew, fried, escovitch, roast. This is served with fish. So, we are going to link for you the steam fish video, it's there. The brown stew fish video, it is there. The fried fish, the escovitch fish. There are other fish videos. I have, I have other videos for fish, it's more in soup form. But there's one other video that I have for like straight fish. And I'm going to do it in a very short time, you'll see. So right as it is now, from my kitchen to yours, to your plate, to your American, your Japanese, your Suriname, Surinamese, wherever you are, from my Jamaican kitchen to your kitchen, to your plate, to your family table, it's the Jamaican steamed bami. You all enjoy. Now, I just want to say to you that I have enjoyed your comments. Keep them coming. I am so thrilled. I feel so fulfilled when I read those comments. You're smart, you are intelligent, and most of all, you all, you know how to follow instructions. That's what it tells me in the comments, because you have been telling me that you're cooking, you're cooking, so you're smart. So I want to say to you, thank you so much. Thank you for your support, your continued support. Remember to like, remember to subscribe, subscribe some more. Remember to share, continue to share the videos. And listen to me, vibes up your kitchen. Bring some vibes inside your kitchen. Okay, y'all? Good food comes with good vibes. Or good vibes bring good, good, brings good food. Lame vibes, no vibes. Bring a simple Jamaican thing, patwa, niam bad food. A kitchen without vibes, it produces not but some lame niam bad food. Vibes of your kitchen. You cook and when your dish look nice and it look presentable. Chick up yourself, sing a little song, do your thing. I feel your kitchen, okay, y'all? Love you so much. Once more, enjoy Jamaican steam bami. From my kitchen to yours, enjoy. Thank you once more. Thanks, thanks so much. Thanks a million. And remember, man, Debbie from the Royal, I say to you all, bless, no stress.